Hey, good morning, Joe Deary, Powerful Improvements, Putnam, Connecticut. It is Monday, it's raining, it's gonna blow out. I bought myself this really slick frog togs raincoat. Beautiful, love this thing. Per suggestion of a few of you guys wearing the frog togs, this wasn't exactly what I wanted. I did want to buy the rain suit, but it's what they had at the local store, so that's what we got. Really nice hood, zippers, all that fun stuff. I did order a pants and coat rain suit on Amazon. It's like this lightweight thing. Uh, they did have them, but they weren't in my size. They were double XLs, which freaking are giant. I wear a medium large, so I'm not a very big person. So they didn't have my size, but I ordered the uh, rain suits online that comes with pants and a coat. Very nice setup. And they were 20 bucks on Amazon. So you guys that don't have any rain gear, uh, you might want to look at Frog Togs online because they've got some great end of season sales going on on Amazon. And like I said, I got a whole rain suit for 20 bucks. And it should be in tomorrow. Uh, it doesn't do me any good today. But we're chasing rain. I got this big, nice uh, colonial and garage to wash. And then we got one two, three, three more house washes after this and a roof wash. So it's gonna be a busy Monday. And uh, let's jump right in. All right, the big advantage I see to washing in the rain, or at least this is what I'm telling myself today since I have to wash in the rain, is that you do have, you know, plant protection added in by mother nature, so that's nice. Not that I worry about that too much, as you know, honestly but it also gives me the ability to soap like crazy before you have to rinse. So I soaped three sides of this building. This was the worst side. I'm back here rinsing it now. And of course everything is gone. It helps with not getting any streaking, keeping your windows wet, etc. The only disadvantage is you get a little wet, but if you don't want to get wet, you're in the wrong job anyway. I must say though, I'm glad I bought the frog tog coat. Or I'd be soaked already. All right, that job's all done. We're back in the truck, heading to the next one. And uh, when I was filling my gas can up at the service station this morning, apparently I drove away my gas can, my auxiliary can in the back. I drove away and left the cap on the rail. So I got a glove, a rubber glove zip tied to the top of it right now. And uh, a really nice guy was behind me in traffic. He got my number off the tailgate and called me as I was turning down this country road and says, hey, I was behind you and I couldn't catch up to get your number. But when I did, I wanted to let you know that you lost your gas cap a few miles back and he's a local. So he was able to tell me pretty much where I lost it. And I'm gonna go see if I can find it. Thankfully, it's en route to my next project, but no big deal. If we can't find it, we'll just throw another gas cap on it from home. But in the meantime, let's see if we can go find that no cap. deal on the gas cap. This is where the guy said I lost it. I've been up and down here nice and slow in the breakdown lane. I can't spend any more time looking for it. So I'll show you guys my glove gas cap when we get there. I know you're dying to see that. I've been driving by this house in the background when I drop my kids off for school every day. And I noticed that it's moldy and I happened to pull in there just now. and landed the job gave her a flyer and we're doing that home probably within the next week or two we're gonna get on the schedule so there you go all right here we go this is my glove gas cap with the zip tie it's on there pretty rugged that's gonna have to work for today it just survived the highway on the way to this next job so we're good to go and for those of you that are curious that last job this this uh, 55 was nearly full and it took me about 10 gallons of chemical to uh, wash that entire house and the barn. It was a pretty good sized place. And uh, that wasn't too bad. So I'm gonna show you this house. I got my hoses all pulled. Got this nice little cape right here, a little extension on the side, and it continues around the back. This house is nice and dirty. I'm gonna get a couple nice before and afters on this side. Nice and black around the oil filler tubes, etc. This bump here, nice and dark. So should be able to make a dramatic difference here pretty quickly. I think I'm gonna set up a time-lapse over here for myself. Somewhere over here if I can, just to watch this melt. If I can't, I won't, but if I can, I will. But anyway, interesting, we got the 
hose is pulled all the way down here to the back and it is still raining. So I'm gonna start washing back there. I'm gonna soap all of this. The front, I'm gonna soap the whole other side that I'm gonna to switch to rinse. That's the clean side over there. And start rinsing my way back. And by the time I get over here, this should be real easy. Then my hoses are in the driveway. Reel them up and we're out. Shouldn't take me an hour. And here we go. house came out crazy clean very impressed in the rain even thinking my stuff might be a little diluted on the siding but it doesn't seem to be uh, and then I got my hose all laid out now ready to go right back to the truck and this project's done okay, we're all set up on the third job trucks over here I'm out on beautiful Alexander's Lake today Nice place to be down here on the cove. But anyway, we've got the rig set here. Hoses pulled all the way around the house. Starting on the far back corner there. Washing around, ending in the driveway right here. Reeling it up and we'll be on our way. All vinyl siding. Not too dirty, just the dark side under the trees. But then uh, we got one interesting little request from the client, which I haven't had before. And that is that she'd like us to wash her inflatable kayaks, which I have in the driveway over there by the truck. So I'm gonna be starting over there, hit those with a little house wash. We're gonna melt the mold on them. I'm gonna show you what's over there in just a minute. And here we go. Okay, I've soaked this entire building. I'm just ending right here on the north end right now. I'm gonna go back around and rinse back to the truck here in a minute. Oh, but these are the kayaks I was telling you about. And you can see the mold on them. So we're gonna hit these with some M5 house wash. Let them hang out. So these things came out brand new, just like we knew they would. Look at that. Beautiful. Let them dry, put them away clean for the season. All right, it is shortly after noon time. I'm done that project. I'm going home to get dry. I'm soaked. Put on some dry gear and put a gas cap on that tank back there. And then uh, the next job is real close to my house. So I'll go from there. All right, I'm set up on this house now. We get a little break in the rain and I'm gonna run with it. And we're doing roof washing here, uh, front and rear. And I'm gonna hit this at about 6% so that I can compensate for a little bit of dilution from the rain. And then, uh, you know, the rain has helped me keep the vegetation wet and saturate the ground and all that fun stuff. And if I get a call back because of the rain, it didn't do what it was supposed to do, I'll just eat it. But I'm confident that I won't. So first thing I'm gonna do is wash this side of the house. I'm gonna house wash this and just leave it sit. Then I'm gonna run up the ladder, shoot the roof. Then I'm gonna come down and rinse the front. And then we're gonna to move to the back and do the same thing. So here we go. Try not to be jealous. That's a 2540 and a shorty shooter tip from Russ. It's a beautiful setup right there.
There we go. Nicely placed sign on our country road. And this house is done. I want to washing the front of the house and the back of the house. Gutter lines. I don't know if you can see up there, but the see the light tan on the roof. Everything's very dead. I'm expecting only positive results. And that's it. I'm going on to the next one. We've got one more wash for the day. Okay, we're set up on the last project of the day. I got this nice cape with a dormer, shed dormer here in the back. Dormer's in the front with a farmer's porch and she's very dirty. And it is raining a little bit still, so that's good for me. I'm gonna be soaping the end, the back, and the driveway end, rinsing everything and then ending with just a wash and rinse in the front where it's sunny. And we've got another property with a lake view here. This is a different lake. So of course, This place has these interesting bee traps. I gotta check these things out online. It's like a block of wood that's hollow inside. So I'll have more like a box, I guess, with a small water bottle on the end. And somehow the wood boring bees like to go in there and they die because they can't get back out for some reason. They fall into that bottle. I gotta check it out. And we're M5 rinsing and everything's gone. The same old thing. Every time. Yeah, so it's officially pouring rain out now. I'm gonna call it a day. Taking the day off tomorrow. It's supposed to rain all day tomorrow too. And we'll be back on Wednesday with some better weather and take care of a few projects.